And for the lower control arm, I'm taking inspiration from Mason Motorsports, who just put out a lower control arm that has a machined steel component in the center and then two billet aluminum pieces on the outside. And so the load bearing component is the machined steel 4340 material. And that interfaces with the spherical bearing and takes the majority of the load on the lower control arm. It's also the point where you need to have some thin wall thicknesses to have clearance for the hub as it cycles through steering. And what I learned on the previous Ultra 4 design, when I ran that lower control arm through finite element analysis, there was a weak part right here. And so replacing that billet aluminum with billet steel made a ton of sense. And it also makes the part look incredibly cool. So rather than one big giant piece of billet, it's going to be three pieces clamped together. And rather than wishbone shape or regular A-arm shape, this is going to be an offset A-arm, sort of like a J-arm, but not quite. And so I just need to make the basic shape of this lower control arm here and capture all my dimensions for the offsets of where the bushings are going to go versus where the spherical bearing is going to go and drop that piece in and see how it looks.